Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. What well, if someone's in there? There we go. Don't get tetanus though. It's gonna be his truck in there probably. What if it's not his truck? What if Holy it's like a I secret truck? Door. Come on! <clears throat> oh yes! Maximus rules! God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. What is Jackpot. it? Jackpot. Old shit. Old shit. No, 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 look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yes, yeah, I'm done looking at files and photographs. Clearly I was not, you know... Yes, old Prescott clippings. Appropriate <gasps> But that, for that can't job. be the only thing here. This tractor has paid its dues. I like a photo. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. Is there any clues in the photo? There's a puppy. Two puppies. Some chickens. Is that a, is that a duck? Is that a goose? What is that? I don't know. What's it over there? Sheep. Cool. Makes sense, being that it's a barn and all. Why did I vibrate? Oh. Oh, look. I found a secret entrance way, I think. <sighs> Nothing here. Oh, never mind. Maybe I should walk over hay more often though. You know, I kick over shit. It's gotta be a secret entrance way. Just rotting wood. Okay, well. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. This also kind of reminds me of an episode of Scream, a TV show. Okay, I feel good about this one. No commentary about them? Oh, we vibrated over here. I feel confident about this one. Yeah, this is definitely it. Based on these camera angles. Whoa. I knew there'd be a trap door. What is this? It's oh totally brand new. Why? Watch Rachel be in there. Ah. The good old days. Eggs, bacon, sugar, coffee, cocaine, tobacco, and milk. It's pretty cheap. That wasn't relevant to what we're doing, but before so I look at that, haystacks? just want to so look at things. Needles. Okay. How do we open this? No, the pitchfork? Max. You can't open this with your bare hands. Maybe if a pitchfork. Where's okay, that, where's that pitchfork? Um, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. What can we open it with? There's a button. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. There's a platform. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Up, up and away, Supermax. I dig having onions. <laughs> Old mo oh, we could drop that maybe down there. Yeah. I feel like that would totally smash the wood when we fall through. Oh, we could keep climbing. Maybe we'll find a key. 
That feels Just a little too hopeful. There, I was hoping there's a hook. Hey, Chloe. Can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, you are clever. I am all over this. Yeah, I, I totally thought of this. That's why I climbed up here. So I, I, I can attach the hook. You better step away from that hatch. That's what all the girls say. They always say to step away from me. Alright, let's pull. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. Well, Max, we all have to make sacrifices, I okay? This up to something heavier. Like the motor? Oh. It's over here. <gasps> Ow! Sleepy owl. <laughs> Who dat? Who dat? It's cute. I imagine a real owl would just fly the fuck away as soon as possible. Okay, so we need to tie it to something heavy. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. I was thinking of tying the rope to it, but there's probably more areas we could go up there. She probably didn't look around enough. Can we tie it to the owl, maybe? Or what about the hook? I don't know. We'll probably have to tie it to something and drop it, I imagine. Hey! Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> sorry. You better be sorry, Max. That was really bad. Oh, I have an idea. I'm stupid. Tell me if you need any help. No, I don't need help, Chloe. I figured out what to do. Maybe. Tie it to the motor and then drop the motor. There we go. There we go. I, I was like, I hit the motor, but it didn't make sense until I was climbing down it. And I was like, if only the motor was up there. And I was like, wait, I could get the motor up there. Wait, I didn't tie the rope to the... Alright, hold on. Maybe we can make this work. I just hung on. <laughs> Oops. So that didn't work at all. Maybe if we hooked it. <laughs> Maybe I just hung in motor. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Hey Chloe, can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, you are clever. I am all over this. Okay. All right. Now we drop this. Nice. Max Giver strikes again. Can you stop being so lame, Max? I mean, that's part of your charm, but sometimes you're just you're just pushing it a little too far. Right now was one of those times. Hey, look, it's me. Damn, this is heavy. It's probably a weird sex dungeon. Okay, that looks what creepy. Is this Jack? Do I even need to say how weird this is? There's gonna be something bad down here. He just did. Who built this kind of place? A Prescott, Creepy person. of course. A Prescott. I really don't want to go down here, but I'm going to. This looks very high tech. This, this is definitely so surreal. What was the number from the three digit number? It was five, four. Oh, yes. I thought that only worked in the movies. I'm glad I memorized that red number. Open sesame. That was good. That was good. At least I did good on that one. 
This looks like a serial killer's basement. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. More survivalist supplies. Now I really want cereal. I'm just hungry. I didn't think Look I'd be going games. on three hours for this episode. David must show up at the same store. This is the longest episode I've played. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. As Nathan's primary psychiatrist for five years, I feel that I should stop seeing your son as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestions for his and others' well-being. You know, while well, I extend Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is as simple as that. I fear he is becoming even more disconnected from reality, even if he acts as a personable manner. You have ignored my request, request for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan and believe he needs serious help. If you would like to talk about this matter, I am always available. Best, Dr. Jacob Jacoby. Yeah, so Nathan is seriously mentally ill, which is not good. Not good at all. This is not gonna... It means that he does not... He, we even saw like he was gonna shoot Warren. Always a bad sign. Everything like, is sketchy as fuck. Nothing about Rachel here. Like, that kid has, like, no moral compass. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. So is this, like, his dark room? Oh, this is the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Ra we're gonna find Rachel. We're gonna find a corpse of Rachel in here. I... I wouldn't be surprised if that's Rachel. That's a photograph of Rachel. This is not good. That son of a bitch. This is unraveling. That's a very expensive bunker. Talk about tortured. Jesus, I already hate this place. Oh, 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 it wasn't David. It wasn't David at the end of episode one. It wasn't David's files. They're gonna be photo albums, weird, creepy photo That's what albums this of us. All about. We are. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. He brings them here and photographs them. But Rachel oh, probably overdosed after he drugged her. Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Oh. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my God, Rachel. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake, and fucking furious. And bound. Rachel is passed out, and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. This is one sick kid. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. You've been suspended due to some suspect 
Vortex Club activity on your part, Irma. That I just want you to know what kind of shame you've once again brought on this family. I've given you everything you've ever wanted, including Blackwell Academy, among other things we should not mention, but nothing is ever enough for you. You're still my son, and I want us to fulfill our destiny. That day is coming sooner than you think, so be prepared to step into that responsibility. This is my final warning. His father is just like so stuck in the pride of his family. And he's probably so ignorant that he just doesn't even acknowledge that his son is ill. Like, completely fucking ill. There's a note. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Nathan told me never to call me using your phone. Stick with the disposable ones I gave you. I don't want to hear you screaming out my name in public place, which you have stupidly done before. I haven't set all this up and shared my vast wisdom just so you can fuck it up with your teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let me guide you You're on your own. His father is totally just not getting it. That his son's just not like going through teen rage. It's not puberty. He's literally fucked in the head. Ah, oh, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. Play weird grungy music while he photographs dead girls, probably. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. So who's using this fancy tripod? Nathan, probably. That's a really small fan. Kind of disappointed. Needles. Gross. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. All right. Well, at least she waited for me. We're going to the junkyard. Chloe, slow down. Wait for me. I know exactly where I'm going. Look, this is it. This is it. Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop. Look. Please, no. That smell! Rachel! Oh. No, Rachel, no, no, please not! Her. Now I'm gonna be a good time to call the cops. Rachel, I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? Is that Rachel? Is she the ghost deer? And that's probably the end of the episode. No, it's not. Or it might be. This could be the credits. No, it's not. Well, okay, well, we're still going. This is a long fucking episode. This is a really long episode. Like, this is my second capture. It's at two hours. The first one was like an hour and a half ish. It was like close I to hope it. Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. Yeah, we should go we to the proof. cops. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her, so we could get real justice. And revenge. 
The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is going to get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be too Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. There's two moons. How could you ignore that? Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Obviously. Well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey, I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know, I'm a pain in the booty. Did you even take it? Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. What the hell did you do? Text soon. I have a feeling Warren's not going to make it to the end of episode 5 without any time interference. That's just me though. Hey, we finally made it to the party. 